People like to talk, most often when they have nothing to say. They like to talk about their leaders and what they do wrong. The sun god Ra was their leader. They heard how Ra battled Apep every night and how he needed Toth's help to get through the underworld. They heard that Ra drooled like an old man and how Isis had created a serpent from this drool. And the serpent bit Ra and in this way Isis was able to get him to reveal his secret name. There was no doubt about it. Ra was old and weak. He had to be replaced. Ra heard their talk and he was enraged. He had already faced this challenge from Set, and he had won. But to be challenged by mere mortals? Absolutely ludicrous. Who did they think they were? He called his eye, the goddess Hathor, to punish these impudent mortals. But Hathor was the goddess of delight, not punishment. She was stunned. She was the one who had poured milk from the Milky Way into Horus's eye to heal it after his uncle Set had torn it from its socket. She didn't harm. She helped. She loved beauty, beauty which all the senses could enjoy, perfume, colors, jewelry, powders for beauty and for healing, music. She played the harp. She danced to cheer Ra. She taught people rhythm. She gave people wine to relax with and forget their worries for a while. Now she was asked to harm. She didn't understand or know how to. But then she heard the terrible things people were saying against her father. She became enraged. Her hair grew into a lion's fur. Her fingernails became deadly claws. Her teeth fangs. She was now vengeful and livid, no longer soft and loving. She attacked those who had spoken against Ra, the terrifying, horrible attack of an angry lion. She now couldn't stop herself. She began attacking even ones who hadn't spoken against Ra. That night, Ra told her it was time to rest. The battle had been won, but Hathor had changed. She couldn't stop any longer.